All right, first off, shout out to Beats for making the template over here for Black Clover Mobile tier list. Um, so on the off chance, right, that the global version, the Canada soft launch, whatever you want to call it, launches this week on the 17th. I want to make this video for you guys to know which units are going to be goaded for re-rolling and all that stuff. Um, yeah, because potentially the game could be dropping this Wednesday. Potentially, okay? Maybe by the time this video is up, we do have official confirmation of another date or Wednesday, who knows? But if that is the case, Wednesday drops, then uh, yeah, this video is going to help you guys in terms of knowing what characters you want to go for, which ones you want to avoid, which SR is going to be really good, and all that stuff. So yeah, we're going to dive in. If you guys are brand new, go down there, drop a like, hit the sub button if you have not yet. It would help me out a ton. And for some reason, if I you know messed up on a tier list, let me know. And where would you place them at? So we're going to dive in. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. All the rare units are going in D tier because they really do not offer anything. <laughs> they really don't offer anything at all except for like one unit and that is going to be Marks. Marks is probably the best rare unit out of everyone um, because he does offer, right? Let's see your rare units, Marks, where are you? He does offer attack reduction which can be pretty good, uh, debuff duration, extension which is not bad, and then increased crit rate accuracy so overall a pretty pretty solid rare unit if you literally have no one else to use he can be good so i do like him not too bad of a unit now moving on to the sr units okay so i'm gonna do ones that i know are not too great um let's see okay you offer like really nothing for the most part you don't offer anything too crazy uh let's see let's see let's see let's see you can be kind of good if i remember let me double check so i don't remember your name what is your name uh where are you okay so what what, what is your name Sharon. okay so defense reduction level two if they are under the effect of stun which i guess can be kind of good okay so aoe stun so it's not too bad actually um and then reduce damage resistance level five that's aoe as well okay so overall you're actually not too bad so a really good debuffer if you are wanting to get off more damage, you want to get off some stuns potentially, so this unit is not too bad at all. Um, Heath, I've not seen him since beta, low key. How good are you? So bleed, freeze, and then bleed. Unfortunately, that is all mid, 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 so you are going to be C tier. You don't offer that anything too, too crazy if it was stun related. Um, the freeze thing can be good because essentially that is like a freeze stun if you think about it. But bleed, however, not too crazy, especially for PvP. Um, I am thinking this is tier list in terms of both PvE and PvP, which ones I think are going to be great for both pieces of content, so kind of bear that in mind. Um, next up, okay, Sister Lily. Um, let's see, Luck, unfortunately, same thing was, same thing, Luck, both Luck and Magna aren't anything too crazy. Um, having the burn, having the stun, I'm not a big fan of their kits, I'm gonna be honest with you, like you really really do not see them used in PvE or PvP at all, so that's kind of why they're both low on the tier list, um, and they they can't get damage off either like that, so for those reasons, yeah, unfortunately they are not anything too crazy, and they are units that you really don't need to work on unless like it's very specific content, but even then, I still to this day on JP and KR have not used them at all, so I would say you're in good hands for Season 1 at least. Um, Sister Teresa, not a bad unit. She is a healer. Um, she can be pretty good, actually. So if you look at Sister Teresa, where are you? Right, so if an enemy is taking continuous damage, so like bleed, burn, poison, grants HP recovery equal to 80% of magic attacks to all allies, which is not bad. That is honestly very, very good. So this is pretty good. And then AoE burn. Um... And then you get a guaranteed burn if the HP is below 50%, which is super solid, which goes great with the first skill. And then AoE healing as well, and then chance to dispel poison, so this can be pretty alright. But overall, this unit is not too bad at all. A uh, pretty solid healer if you are lacking. And she does have a little bit of gimmicks with the burn, so I really do like that. So, yeah, Sister Teresa, not too bad. Definitely worth the B tier. Um, Noelle, pretty solid defense unit, so if you are lacking a defense unit, then I do think Noelle is worth the build, um, especially for red typing as well. She can be pretty good. So yeah, she in fact, she was actually my first LR that I made on KR. So she carried me through a decent amount of content, but unfortunately I just don't use that Noelle anymore because of season two. But yeah, really, really good. Can be pretty useful in PvE. PvP, 
sometimes pretty like very very early on pvp like day one or two but then after that it's kind of like all right you got to swap her out for someone else now um you know really really solid unit okay i like this unit a lot um i think he is really good he does have multiple aoe attacks which can be pretty handy for pve content makes it faster for farming so if you do want to take aoe units this unit is one that you can take really solid really really solid so i like it a lot um can do additional attacks if he does get a crit so not too bad and then incapacitate allowing them to take even more damage which is not bad at all so even more damage is is applied and then defense reduction so super duper solid kit i like it i like it i like it i like it um no not noel mimosa i am gonna put her at b tier um she is probably the best sr healer outside of charmy but um yeah she i mean she's just like healing 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 there's really nothing i can bad i can say about that and then 80 percent chance to remove bleed so and then increase attack level four for your uh, partner skill so not too bad overall she's just a pretty good solid generic healer if you do need one that is red typing at least so if you want to build her up then yeah by all means feel free to do so can be pretty good okay um vanessa unfortunately she is going to be c tier she doesn't offer anything too crazy i mean the ultimate can be good having the total defense with the blessing of protection so but i have tested this out it's actually not too crazy <laughs> so unfortunately pretty mid pretty pretty mid um and next up gouge really good okay this unit is actually like surprisingly really good i have not used him and tested him out like that but from what i've seen from other jp content creators he can do some damage believe it or not so he does have a 50 percent chance to perform additional attack and then if he does have a buff perform an additional attack and then I believe he does deal damage and then he can do an additional attack if he does land a crit. So this unit can pull off some crazy attacks if the conditions are right. So yeah, if you are needing a unit that can do multiple additional attacks, this unit is definitely the way to go. So build him up. He is not too bad, um, especially if you are liking DPS. But I feel like most of us on day one are probably going to have blue typing DPS covered. Um, so yeah, that is that is that. Moving on solid he's well i guess you can say he's solid right all right don't don't cancel me now please but um no seriously G solid is not too bad of a unit he does have a really good ultimate that is going to be aoe same ultimate as jack regarding this part if he does have a buff or for each buff he has applies a 10 percent increased crit damage so he can get off some crazy crazy numbers um but you do need to make sure that he does have a good amount of crit rate in order to proc this off in it for it to be really really good so yeah not too bad of a unit um anything else i'm missing regarding his kits not really but yeah pretty solid unit solid is well solid all right um and then sr also i'm gonna go ahead and put in beats here i think this unit is extremely good for an sr unit um the reason why is because he does have a taunt and a defense stance for his ultimate which is really good really good so i said it before this unit is like a worse version of veto so ideally if you do build this unit up you do not need a summon for veto <laughs> all right i'm gonna say that again if you build up sr asta you do not need to build up veto um but then again probably noel is going to be coming out for season two potentially so maybe don't even bother working on asta or veto because noel just destroys all red units like takes the number one spot so that is kind of that but overall if you do need a sr red tank asta is your unit to go for absolutely and that leaves us with my personal four favorite sr units and they are all extremely good so charmy a tier okay i have used this unit multiple times and i still use her to this day even more so probably than my seasonal charmy she is very very good um first skill is honestly goaded like for an sr unit this is extremely extremely good so she does work off a of magic attack and then if you do perform you have a 50 percent chance to get off an additional if you do get it off you are healing you are aoe healing off of that additional attack which is really really good and then the second skill is you know aoe or i'm sorry single target healing and then a 60 percent chance to increase special points which is super solid and then the ultimate isn't really anything too crazy, but ideally you're not using the ultimate all too much. But the first skill and the second one, goaded, really good. I love it, I love it, I love it. This unit, A tier, absolutely. And then soul, 
free to play mer version of Mars. Um, honestly, an amazing, an amazing, amazing, amazing good tank. Like, so good. Um, if you guys don't know what she does, she can do. She does have a taunt on her first skill if they have 70% stamina or higher, which most cases you are going to go first, so you can't get this off. Um, second chance, I mean, second skill is going to be 80% chance of taunt, so this is really, really high, which you probably will be able to get this off. And then applies attack reduction level 2 to an enemy for 2 turns. Really good for PvE, especially gear farming. Most of them are working off of physical attack, so this is going to be extremely goaded. Please, please, please build her up and use her. Um, she is going to save you so much time and effort when it comes to gear farming and all that stuff. So, yeah, that is my girl soul. And then the last two SRs, arguably top 5 units in the entire game, in the entire game, okay? Finral and Valtos. These two just take the cake in terms of like being the number one units for SRs. They're amazing, okay? Both speed units, both increase your stamina, or one of them increases your stamina, both of them really increase your speed if you think about it. Um, super goaded for PvE, super goaded for PvP. Not much else I can say, you already know. If you play JP and KR, then you know why these guys are S tier, okay? Now, moving on to SSRs, okay? So I'm gonna be kind of quick with this one. Um, let's just get it out of the way. All seasonal one units, S tier. They're, they're just goaded. DPS, DPS, healer plus resurrection. Only unit in the game to resurrect, by the way. And um, yeah, she's cracked. <laughs> she's cracked, so nothing else I can say about that. They're all extremely good, I promise you. You are not gonna be disappointed if you have any of them. They just by far are probably the best seasonal batches besides Noel. But um yeah, all really good, all S tier, and all worth your crystals, I promise you. Now, Charlotte, um, B tier, okay? The reason why I am gonna put this unit in B tier is because she can do she can make farming a little bit faster, but outside of that, she's not really used. You don't use her in PvP at all. Where are you? Um yeah, I mean, she does have bleed, attack reduction level 3, incapacitate level 5 on the combined attack, which can be good, but besides that, she's not really anything too crazy. Um, so unfortunately for a debuffer, I am going to go ahead and put her at B tier. Not even A tier at that. Maybe I'll move her at the end, but for now, she is going to be B tier. Fauna, S tier. Extremely, extremely good. Um, a better version of Blue Yami. The only reason why I would prioritize Yami over her is because most of us are probably going to get Yami for free from our Gateway of Destiny. So that is the only reason why. But yeah, ideally she is better, but the only thing is that you are going to have to summon for her, which you're not guaranteed until 200 pulls. So can be scared for free to play, which is why I would say Yami is quote unquote better uh, for free to play especially. Fugolion, A tier. Now this unit isn't used all too much, but he can do damage and one of the very few green attackers that we have in the game currently, he is going to be goaded, um, especially if you do want to counter the quote-unquote blue meta. This unit is going to be one for the books that you want to get. So yeah, build him up, use him. He is really good. If you get him, be happy. He is not bad at all. So I like it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Jack. Okay, Jack, I'm going to go ahead and put in A tier. For season one content, he is not bad. And honestly, he is one of the best DPS, single target DPS units in the game um if you don't know his ultimate kind of allows him to be like uncapped if you think about it he has a 10 percent increased crit damage for each buff he has which is the same one that solid has except this is going to be a single target so which means this unit whoever he, he hits as long as he hits a crit he could be doing some insane numbers as long as you have like a lot of buffs on him which it is possible so yeah, he can do hundreds of thousands of damage on his ultimate, which is not bad at all. I've seen Sora do like a 500k damage nuke um, on a raid boss, so this unit, really, really good. Um, unfortunately, no AoE skill, so he's not really viable for PvP like that, but if you do need to get rid of a red unit on PvP, then Jack is a unit you can take if you want to, alright? So that is Jack, then... I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Leopold... As much as I love the character, um, he doesn't offer a lot. He really doesn't. I mean, he, he does lifesteal. Um, he does increase magic attack equal to his HP. Um, burn, burn, and then increase damage. But the only thing I just don't like is that I used him before. I've seen other people use him. He's not crazy. He's not too crazy. And I don't know what it is about his kit, but I just don't like it. And it's really not that good. So unfortunately, you don't see him in PvP. You really don't see him in PvE either. And, um, yeah, unfortunately, he is a unit that you don't have to necessarily work on, right? Next up, Late. I mean, I really don't have to say anything else about him. 
uh, one of the very few units that have immortality, or like the only unit really now that I think about it, that has immortality. Really good, so if he does die, he does get a one last stand um, to go ahead and do off damage. I was thinking about putting him A tier, which I'll talk about why, but for now he is going to be S tier, okay? Lotus, number one unit in the game. Um, these also have no orders by the way, so don't be scared of it. But um, Lotus, number one unit in terms of versatility for both PvE, PvP, just amazing. And the unit that I do recommend every single player in the game rerolls for. When you do your reroll banner, get this unit, he is going to be your number one carry for the longest while, I promise you. Mars, okay, Mars, Mars, Mars. Probably tied for number one defense unit in the game. Um, really good, it's just nothing else I gotta say about him. If you have him, you know why. But um, yeah, he's super good. Like I said, one of the best tanks in the game, absolutely. And uh, if you need to take damage, he is your man, I promise you, okay? Nozel, you suck. You suck. You are probably the worst SSR in the game, and I'm not even capping, dude. Like, you can go ask any JP or KR player. He is probably the worst SSR unit in the game, so... Yeah, I'm not even gonna speak about him. He he just like annoys me. Rodis tied with Mars for number one unit in the game when it comes to defense. Um, he does offer a barrier equal to his percentage of magic attack. So right now, I believe I have a 71k barrier, and my Rodis has about like 25,000 magic attack, which is insane to think about. Um, so he's gonna be really good, especially before Noel comes out. This unit is gonna be like. Probably using PvP everywhere, everywhere. So, yeah, this unit is goaded. Please, if you have him, build him up, put on magic attack, and this unit will be giving you an insane barrier no matter what. All right. Um, real, I'm gonna put you in A tier. The only reason why is because you this unit can't be good, but this Rodus barrier counters him. So, and I believe Mars does too, at least on turn one. So. He would be in the middle, but for now I'm going to put him in A tier. Um, he can be good. He does have AoE stun, 40% chance AoE ultimate, so not too bad. If you do get the stun off, then at that point it's kind of like a GG, depending on what units you stun, obviously. But this unit is not too bad. Really, really good. Um, it co when it comes to damage, don't look for high numbers. He's not going to be doing anything too crazy, but a pretty good debuffer unit if you do want to build him up. Not too bad of an option. Plus he's green, so hey yo, that's better, right? Sally. Really, probably the best red support type unit in the game for attackers, but besides that, she's not offering anything crazy. You're not taking her into PvP as far as Season 1 because, yeah, I mean, Noelle's not going to be out at that time. So, Sally, B tier, um, great support type unit, does offer a good amount of buffs increase. So, yeah, really good, especially when combined with red typing. Yeah, super solid, right? William, S tier, probably the second fastest unit in the game. Um, number one fastest unit in the game when, whenever these guys aren't maxed out yet. But yeah, just by himself, he is probably the fastest unit in the game, I believe. If not, then it's Finroll. Finroll's as a number one or two, and then William's as a vice versa. But super solid. Um, can increase your physical attack. And then for the ultimate, he does give the unit on, the, on your team who has the highest attacks at a counter attack. So that can be really good. Go to for PvP. And then combined with Red Yami, I mean, at that point, it's kind of like a GG. So Red Yami and William, extremely, extremely powerful combo. But William is really good. And then Red Yami, not too bad at all. He does have AoE um, on his first skill, which is good. And then the ultimate is going to be like a kind of like a nuke, if you think about it. It is going to be single target, increase crit rate level 2. Um... And then the second skill, he can get a stun off if you do get a bleed. So if they have a bleed already, you, you do get a guaranteed stun, which I like. So it kind of goes hand in hand with the kit, which I do love. So Red Yami is going to be S tier in my opinion. Raya. So I'll talk about Raya last. Um, Veto, I'm going to put in B tier as well. I just, I'm not the biggest fan of this unit. And plus, like, like I said, Red Asta is a worse version of this unit. So if you have Red Asta, you do not need Veto. He can be good, okay, but um, I just don't like his kit at all for the most part. And uh, if I get him, I probably will not ever use him. The way they built his kit and designed it, it is very, very weird. And a little bit selfish if you think about it, but overall, this is what he does. Nothing too crazy in my opinion. Um, for an attacking unit, it is quite weird. They did not give him anything attack related. So, yeah, it's just weird. It's a very, very weird unit, but... That leaves me with the last unit, Raya. Now, 
I'm putting Raya A tier, okay? And you guys are probably confused as to why he's not S tier. The reason being is on his own, he is A tier. If you put him on a team with Licked, however, he is S tier. The reason why is because Licked and Raya had the best combo skill in the game. Essentially, it is like a second ultimate. So the combined attack is he if you paired up with, if you pair him up with Licked, they can do insane damage, but if you only have Raya on himself then he is good don't get me wrong but he can be worked with very he can be dealt with quite easily okay um so yeah i mean he can do damage and his ultimate is really really good single target he does he does have the possibility to be one of the highest dps units in the game when it comes to single target which is great uh but besides that nothing too crazy he is really good, but not to the extent of where I think he needs to be S tier. In fact, I'm actually going to put Red Yami on A tier as well because I just want to focus on the units kit alone and not combine with others. But for now, yeah, this is going to be my tier list. If you guys agree with me, let me know. If you disagree with me, let me know and why. But um, I feel pretty confident just basing the character's kits alone, not combined with others or anything like that, then I, I would say that this tier list is pretty good. And um, yeah, so here you go. Day one units that you need to reroll for. In my opinion, all these guys are so good. Please work on them. Even the A tier units as well. If you get them, be happy. They are good. They will help you in uh, both PvE and PvP potentially. So it's not a bad trade off, you guys. So look forward towards it. If we do get news, I will let y'all know. And if the game does come out Wednesday, well, here you go. You know who to reroll for. And uh, yeah, I'll end it there. If you guys enjoyed today's video, drop a like. It would help me out a ton. And Always comment below what you guys think. Alright, peace!